Hey everybody, it's Jason J. Boom. Excuse me, Jason J. Boom Legard coming back at you. <sighs> little brisk out here today. Um, I wanted to kind of show this little patch of gravel here behind my uh, parents' house. And I wanted to talk today how this uh, very simple looking patch of ground was actually uh, kind of like a lot of the foundation that I was able to develop over the years as far as when it comes to the concept of creativity and being creative in your uh, projects as an entrepreneur. Uh, for me, a lot of times it's these videos. Because I have had some friends, um, some people ask me like, well, how do you come up with these ideas, um, whether it be like doing funny voices or characters or a, kind of like a storyline approach, maybe just even the camera angles I sometimes use. And a lot of that stems from way back when, in this patch of dirt back here, when I was, you know, six, seven, eight years old, around that time frame, was big time into Star Wars action figures and G.I. Joes. And during the summertime, what I would do, um, I'm an only child, so and uh, living in a small town like this, a lot of times my nearest friend would be 12 miles away. So you'd have a lot of time, you know, on your own to entertain yourself, you know, after you got your, your chores done or whatever. So I'd come back out here, and I'd get out here in the morning, and I would literally spend a good six, seven, sometimes eight hours in a day digging out a massive sequence of little forts and tunnels and booby traps for the G.I. Joes and just an entire base, in a sense, dug out by hand with little tools and stuff like that. Then, after all that prep work, and sometimes this would be over like two days, so all this prep work would get done first, and the whole time I'm imagining what this battle scene would look like. Then, after everything was built, I would lay, uh, you know, Black Cat firecrackers, rocket, uh, bottle rockets, um, all these little booby traps and stuff for the G.I. Joes. And then I would take my figurines out, I'd set them all up, and I'd have the idea of like, okay, here's it. It'd always be something very typical, being the time frame I grew up, big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, Sylvester Stallone, Bruce Lee. Um, it would be, of course, the one lone badass soldier against this entire base load full of dudes. And so he would sneak in, and he would, you know, silently take out the first two guards, and eventually, you know, work his way in. And there'd be booby traps and explosions and maybe little floods, you know, and all these hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences, uh, gun battles, until eventually, of course, he gets to the main bad guy and he wins the battle. So I would spend, you know, literally an entire day digging out this massive series of tunnels and forts, and then the following day, plan out the battle and do the battle and essentially destroy everything I created. But, you know, the, the process I went through with that really forced myself to become highly creative, think outside the box, and entertain myself with these ideas like mapping out the battle scene, uh, the booby traps, mapping out the fight scenes, choreographing the fights. Um, it was like I was the director, the producer, the editor, the actor, of an entire movie and like I said that was back when I was six seven eight years old and I kind of carried that all the way through my life when it came to creative endeavors so when I found filmmaking it kind of translated really easily so I guess the point I would like to make is twofold I mean number one I kind of want to give you a fun story about again more of my background here in Fortuna North Dakota in small town America and also two to tell you to I mean, give you a tip on for some of you out there that are having difficulty with your creativity and how to express it. And what I would suggest, now I'm not maybe suggesting you go buy a bunch of G.I. Joe figurines and go dig tunnels all day. You might kind of look that kind of loony if you did that. Um, what I would suggest is maybe just trying to embrace and get back to that childlike enthusiasm where there were no... Um, thoughts of what people would say about you or what uh, shooting your ideas down whatever it may be and, and try to get very simplistic you know get back to being a kid you want to be you want to have fun you want to create something fun for yourself and by doing that that should get across to your audience the fun you're having with your creation process with whatever you're you're making um, this could be your info product, this could be a video you're shooting about your business, it could be uh, anything. Um, but just get back to simplicity, start from scratch, maybe it's with a pen and a pad, maybe it's just like going for a really long walk and just 
letting the mind wander and let every idea come to you. Um, or maybe it is, you know, going out in the backyard in a sandbox and getting some G.I. Joes and digging some tunnels. Maybe that's what does it for you. I don't know. But get back to kind of like your core kid, the little kid inside all of us that's still there. We just tend to suppress him or her uh, most of the time once we reach adult life. And uh, I think that would be a really good starting point for a lot of you that are maybe having those struggles being creative in your, uh, in your work. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Again, some more background for you from Jason J. Boom Legard from the balmy weather here in Fortuna, North Dakota. And with that, my hands are starting to cramp up because of the cold. So I think we'll wrap this one up, and I'll catch you later on. Thanks so much.